Hey, what's up everybody? Jameson here and welcome to another video. So I wanted to shoot a quick video on, uh, on BitConnect itself. As you can see on the screen, it says BCC platform will remain inaccessible for two days and then a link to say read more. Now, what's interesting is I put out a video yesterday that basically said, calm down. This happens on high traffic websites. They get a ton of traffic. They need to increase their, their server capacity. Sometimes they need to move hosts which requires DNS changes on the domain itself, which then needs to propagate. All this stuff probably makes no sense to you if you have no clue about um, websites and server stuff, but when a, when a brand, when a site is growing like BitConnect has been, it's natural for them to have up and down uh, time with the website. No matter how good you are, how good your tech team is, you know, even Facebook in the very beginning, like they don't have it now because they have so many redundancies, but back in the beginning, they even had problems like that. And definitely, you know, BitConnect and these investment platforms are a far cry from Facebook, even in the early days with the amount of budget and resources they had. So most websites go through these little hiccups. So I made a video um, that was before this post was even posted. This wasn't posted until last night. So it says BitConnect uh, accessibility update, glitch in the website service, blah, blah, blah. So it goes on to update exactly what happened. Um, and saying that like, look, um, the whole platform itself is being updated. So we'll reactivate accounts by 3 PM, August 27th, which for me is tomorrow for you guys in the U S is two days away. And immediately before this was up, everybody started freaking out. Like I had a bunch of comments that I just didn't even bother, um, approving on the video itself saying that, uh, you know, all the people were freaking out saying, nope, they're gone. I've seen this before, blah, 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 end of the world, fear. I lost all my money, you know, blah, 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 blah. And so you got to, you know, again, this is the, the common theme that I keep talking about in videos is like, you can't let the emotional stuff um, grab you and pull you in to making assumptions and somehow thinking that you're some sort of expert and it's going to know what's going to happen because you have no clue. Neither do I, because I don't run BitConnect. Neither do you. So here's what we're looking at today is on uh, BCC, uh, excuse me, I'm uh, bitconnect.co. It's showing 152.69. That's a frozen amount. That's not an accurate amount of what the BitConnect coin is worth. Well, it might be, but here's what I'm saying is the um, on coinmarketcap.com, BitConnect jumped up from 15 yesterday. Yesterday it was showing a 37% loss and it was number 15, okay? Today, it's number 12, and it's showing a 31% increase, and it's back up to 126.52. This might be a delayed um, API poll, so this might actually be an accurate amount, this 152.37, I don't know. But all I know is that it tanked yesterday below um, $60, and now it's all the way back up to at least 126. So it's once again doubled uh, in value. So, you know, like... You just, you got to stay calm. Like the investment game is, is not an emotional one. You can't bring that into it. And especially with cryptocurrency stuff, I know because there are a lot of scams out there that it's very easy to just turn the lens onto this one and say, oh, yep, that's another one. These guys just all fucked us. But um, I think that's uh, extremely irresponsible to, uh, to just make those sorts of assumptions without knowing facts. So you got to stay calm and patient enough until you actually get the information. And then you can disseminate that and make your decisions and make your, your points afterwards. But uh, my point is that BitConnect is uh, just fine. Like it appears to be just fine. The website's back up. You just can't log in for a couple of days while they continue to make these infrastructure updates, which makes total sense because since I've been saying uh, since the get-go is that the UI itself for the members dashboard is awful. Like the words that they use, the English words that they use don't really make sense. It's a little painful to use and the user friendliness of it definitely is not good. Um, <laughs> it's not good at all. So hopefully they're updating some of those things. I'm actually excited to see what they've gone and done. And then, um, you know, we'll see that in, in just another day. I'll, I'll be beating you and seeing it because if you're in the United States, then you're a day behind me. So I'll, I'll be sure to shoot an update video as soon as I get access to it. But uh, outside of that, Bitcoin has been staying steady. So 
Bitcoin right now is at 43.62. That's about right. Um, it's a little different, a little variant on uh, depending on what site you're checking. But overall, it's stayed at around $4,300 for the last two days now. 48 hours, it has stayed at 4,300. So again, if you got in at the fork, or if you got in even last week when it tanked down to 3,800, and now it's sitting at 43, you would have had plenty of time to sell off. You could have been slow as a turtle and you could have sold that off and made a nice little profit. So, you know, again, like the, the game that we're playing with here is so much different. I think it's so exciting because, you know, no matter how, how fast or slow you are, there's pretty much plenty of time for you to get in and get out and, you know, skim a little bit of profit, even with the currency exchanges and things like that, the little, the little clips you're going to get, you still make a good amount. And uh, depending on what you came in at, yeah, you could clean up with just jumping in, jumping out, jumping in, jumping out. So anyways, that's it for now, my friends. We'll see you in another training video very soon.